Clearly, from what you've heard so far, now my strategy tilts us towards the blue ocean where you have a shark all to himself with no competition. And um, my colleague's strategy, the red ocean, where you see sharks eating sharks and then you can't really predict the outcome of your state of financial position. Also, my strategy can make us avoid tax rather than evade tax. We all know that evasion of tax is illegal. But Tax avoidance is perfectly acceptable. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to me. Oh, that was a beautiful presentation, cousin. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you for mentioning that. Mm. You know, between you and I, it's always been very clear who the brilliant one is. Mm. Even though it's quite noble of you to finally admit it. <laughs> Master! I got to tell them why you stole my proposal. Oh. I'm sorry, Dad. I had to teach this bastard a lesson. You stole my proposal. Daddy, why am I the one you're penalizing? He stole my proposal. Maxwell, I do not know what you're trying to accomplish here. But without proof, this discussion is unproductive. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're suspended, unless you can prove, prove otherwise. Daddy, you can't suspend me, I'm your son. Oh, Dad is when we're at home. In this office, I am your boss. Daddy. Okay? okay? Listen. If I say you're suspended, there's no room for negotiation. Daddy, he stole my proposal, sir. Shut up and stop making baseless accusations. Simply admit that you could not match up with your cousin's presentation. Are you not listening to anything I'm saying? He stole my proposal. Oh. Are you know Salas has nothing on me. You know, you talk the big game. But it, when it came down to it, you choked, son. You choked. You know, perhaps I should have listened to the board. I'm giving Salas a CEO. Oh. Um. Boss, if I may, I would like to plead with you to kindly ignore the suggestions of the members of the board. I think it will be unfair to transfer Maxwell's inheritance and birthright to me. What I want for this family is for us to grow together, and I believe that's something we all can achieve as long as we work as a team and we are willing. See? That's maturity talking. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Food with Bridges. And today I'm actually making my signature dish. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I just want you guys to look at the ingredients that we're using: green peppers. We have our chicken. We have our our um, lettuce. We have our cucumber. We have our our pepper don't worry i'm gonna post all the ingredients that we're using for this dish on our group okay so let's go actually i've actually pre i've actually prepped some of the meal uh um, some of the things we're using i've prepped the pepper i've prepped the um the carrot um okay so i'm going to do this now please make sure it is fully washed your spring onions 
make sure that it's fully washed and we are almost done okay trust me all of these are all already washed so we are good All right, so what I'm doing is just food prep. Like I said, make sure that it's fully washed. Wash your hands, make sure that your hair, your hair is tied so that you know you don't have any funny thing in, in your meal. And I'm actually almost done and we can get into the interesting part of, 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 the, of today's menu. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this one back. Hello? Okay. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. Just give me one minute. Yeah, I'm just saying the same thing. Calm down now. Calm down, I'll be with you shortly. Eh? So Why are you speaking to me like this? I'm not paying you. If you're not paying, that's what we if you cannot wait, just go. What is this? Ah! Nonsense. If you are not here in the next one minute, you will leave. I'm, 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 I'm working for your what? Jesus! Oh my God! I'm. Are you blind? There's something wrong with you? I'm. Pick it up! I'm sorry, Pick I it wasn't. Up. Pick it up! I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at where I was. <laughs> You spent half the time, you spent on that phone. The way you are today. Why are you so rude? This is really. Kyle, that's how somebody will be so wicked. I'm so. I'm so ugly at the same time, eh? I don't know how much I made today. Maybe I'll be able to add it to my savings for the restaurant. Bridget, I've been calling you. I've been busy. Young girl, don't give me an attitude why I'm huh? talking to you. Girl. What have you been ignoring my calls? Like I said, I'm busy. Busy messing around on social media, have you? Huh? It always hits me on my face anytime I remember that my tester crew produced a girl like you. You even explain how to speak English before you even start to insult people, eh? A child like me, how? One that have decided to drag my name to the mud. Uh -uh. Ah, my instinct told me that. I'm going to regret allowing the heart of a mother to give back to you. Uh, is there something new you want to talk about? Because there's something like a broken record and should I have to fine tune the, the antenna? Because this is why I'm not going to change. Eh? You girl, watch ah! your mouth! Are you okay? Well, do you have anything new to say, sir? Of course you don't. I will be hosting my business associate on Saturday in my house. You are expected to be there. Yeah, I will. It's not a request, but a must.
Bible says that we have, I have you as a father. That is very, very sad. You don't even know. Shameless man. down on the phone. What's going on? Um, sit, 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 sit. Thank you very much, sir. Um, sir, I am um, very sorry for bombarding your space at this odd hour. It's, it's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, um, but it's quite important. Hmm. It's about Maxwell. Mm -hmm. Get to the nitty gritty of it. Did he attack you again? No, 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 not at all, sir. I mean, that would have been better. Oh, okay. So you need to see this. that our clients are not entirely pleased with us. And if we are not careful, we stand to lose our deal with the European investor. No. No, no, we can't afford that. Silas, get the PR team. Have them spin this anyhow that they want. Yes, sir. Ah! Sir? Sir, are, are you okay, sir? Sir. <sighs> Okay, Hey, Maxwell, where have you been all night? Listen, I called you throughout the night, you're not picking up your phone. <laughs> I am dead as you're not talking to me, Silas. <laughs> Maxwell, Maxwell, Maxwell. Come on, bro, look around you. Look around. I'm pretty much sure you know it's just you and I that are in here right now. Hmm? <laughs> Come, Silas, when does this nonsense start? Huh? What are you even doing in my... Are those my clothes you're putting on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look good, right? Come here, something wrong with you. Are you mad? What is your problem? Why are you hell-bent on stealing everything from me? First it was my presentation, now it's my clothes. What is your problem? Are you this desperate to be like me, Silas? Huh? Well, you're nothing but a pathetic shadow of myself. 
I don't even know why I'm stressing myself, honestly. What did I expect? I'm the son of a fraud star like you. Much more! Mm. Don't you ever call my father a fraud star. Where is the lie? Silence. Did I lie? Huh? Your parents may have rot in jail for the nonsense they did, but their legacy still lives on in you. You are nothing but a fraud. Silas, just like your parents were. But you think I don't know what you're trying to do? Huh? You slithered your way into our lives, acting like your family. You are nothing but a thief. A pathetic parasite looking for the next victim to leech on. First, you stole my father's love, then his trust, and now you're trying to steal my birthright? And why would I try to steal from you, Maxwell, when you are willingly giving it to me already? Huh? <laughs> oh, you don't know. Well, it might amuse you to know that I sat by your father's side throughout the entire night while he was struggling for his dear life, having a heart attack. What? Yeah. Just after he watched your viral video of you acting like a bull in the china shop. My father had a heart attack. You bet he did. And you know what? He asked me to call his dear son. I called you several times, bro. He didn't pick your calls. And then your father asked me to sit down by his side, which I did. Throughout the night. Now let me tell you something you already know. I will take everything away from you. Every single penny. But the real question is, would you honestly believe I stole your birthright? Don't walk out on me. Get into the car. Huh? If I don't get into the car, what will happen? What will happen? You will beat me, hit me, or let your friends take you, have their way with me again. Oh, shut up. Huh? Are you not happy that someone like Senator Gary is considering you even to make you a third wife? Are you not happy? Are huh? you happy? Come on. Are you happy? Get into the car. Let's go. Out. So they can go and to him. Apple, come drag me. Bigger, I'm talking to you. Talk to my ass. If you walk out of me, count yourself as a fatherless, okay? Speaking. My name is Simon. You have to deliver the money. Oh, okay, sir. Is something wrong with your order, sir? No, no, you can relax. I've been posting your email and questions for our foreign company. And I was thinking you can't do it. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I'm available. I'm available, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes! Yes! Oh <laughs> God, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, Richard? Yes, sir. Uh, do you still have uh, those yummy, delicious stuff that you made? Plus the wine. There's some guests around and I would like to make an impression. Okay, I can get some. And if you don't mind, I would like to serve them myself, you know? Just to show them what true hospitality feels like. Okay, no problem. Let me... Yeah.
I don't understand. Where are people that you said that you need their food? Oh, well, no. Actually, it's just one guest here yeah, that needs some attention. Which attention? <laughs> Listen. Listen. You know, you're, you're very alarming. Don't touch me. What, 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 what's this? Well, I just wanted some gratitude. Come, come on, think about it. I mean, you made a wild loads of cash just because of me, right? And so what? So? Sick okay? bastard. You got lucky this time. You are sick. Oh, you are very sick. Can I should talk to the police this night? She got lucky. I'm so sorry. You better take me from this. This time, you must Shut up! I hope you can talk this much in the police station. Oh, you want to call the police? I will be my guest. Maybe you want your father to have another heart attack. Just so you know, there are some investors in this building. What do you think they'll do when they hear of this scandal? Huh? They'll pull off their fundings. I will be left with nothing. Well, you should have thought about that before trying to have your way with that. Oh, you bet I did. And guess what? I have nothing to lose. But you, on the other hand, you could lose your father and his legacy. So I dare you, come to police. I'm so sorry about what happened there. You still want to report to the police, I understand. No, there's a special place for you and your cousin in heaven. I have no intentions of doing that. No, I'm on your side. So? You remember what you did to me at this very spot? I'm sorry. Okay, you just called me on a very bad day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No problem. Look, look, tell me, how, how, how can I make it up to you? Nothing. I, you, you gave me your jacket, that's fine. That's all. Thank you. Right, please, just let me drop you off. Please. Please, let me just drop you off. Okay? Thank you. I'm really sorry anything about what happened. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sorry, I, I didn't get your name. Um, Bridget James. Oh, okay. Maxwell Benson. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Why, why don't I just change and give you this? Just wait for me. Oh, no, no, that's fine. I can get it another day. No, don't worry. I what? Hello, hello, Dad. What is this um, for sale sign in front of my apartment? I know exactly what is on the post. What, what's going on? What, what do you want me to go? <sighs> Dad, please. I, I, there's nowhere else to go. Please, help. I, 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 what, what, what do I do? Hello, Dad? Yes, I'm here. Hello? 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 Just come with me, okay? 
Bus. Just come. What is it? Oh my God. I have left you alone, or I dropped you in the hotel. Look, I don't think it's best for you to stay alone tonight. I'll have to what my cousin did to you. You can take me to a hotel. You don't have to bring me here. Well, I can't take you anywhere. The estate gate is locked. We'll lock you by 10 p.m. Look, just spend the night. Okay, tomorrow you can figure out things. Take this as me making up for what my cousin did to you. Okay? But Relax. I'm sorry. Just relax, okay? Let's go upstairs. You have nothing to worry. I promise you, you're fine. Alright, let's just... Look. You're safe here. Okay? I promise. All right. Can we go now? Bridget, you're safe here. Let's go. Ladies first and whatnot, but I am extremely tired. So I'm just gonna shower before you. Uh, I, I don't understand. Am I staying here with you? In yes. the same room? Yes. I mean, I'll put you in the guest room, but my dad has visitors and they're staying uh, there, so. What? <sighs> look, look, Miss Bridget, you need to calm down. Okay, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, you're clearly not my type. I'm not serious. Mr. Bridget, you're harassing me. I, I think I harassed you. <laughs> Relax, I'll be right back. No, you want to be. Relax, you're fine. I don't know how many times you want me to say that. Try and get some sleep or if I was going to do anything to you, it won't be in my father's house. So you're not actually sleeping? You were pretending? Don't get all worked up. It's not your fault. I have that effect on women. You don't have any effect on me. Get some sleep. Take it easy, you're approaching all the food. Mm -hmm. 
Have some tea. It's very, very funny. Ah, I can see that. Ah. I'm sorry, my father cannot find out I had a woman in the house. <laughs> it was like I'm 16 again. How many women did you bring to your house when you were 16? Oh, that is a very, very long list. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that's a pretty long list. But well, I never bought any of them breakfast in bed, though. They had these bonds, but manageable. <laughs> Mm hmm. 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 Mm And which house? <laughs> My what? This is your new house. I you don't, don't understand it. Take the key first now. And you don't have to worry about getting kicked out of here. How? I'm, I don't understand. I told my legal team to purchase the property. <gasps> from my dad? Yeah, put it from your dad. I'm now. <laughs> 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 Whispers in the dark, the promises we kept. When I look into your eyes, I know that you love me. Every single day, I love you growing strong. In your arms, I you hear you coming. Right where I belong. Look, I'm actually running um, behind you on my, on my deliveries. Oh, so you're going both then? That's too bad. I guess I'll have to call my friend and tell him you can handle his wedding. Ah, Vice president, VIP. I can get to taste your cooking. Wait, so the vice president? Yeah. Son's wedding. Hmm? Who does he have this? Um, you know. I, I'm available. I'm very sure. I'm very it's available. Booked. I'm very available. Come and help me. In fact, come and help me. Ah, all right. Let's cover it. All I'll right, come and put right. you on it. So you're going to think it's high time you get some more stuff. I don't have the budget for that. What do you mean you don't have the budget for it? Is this supposed to be like a woman thing or what? Because I'm pretty sure I recommended over 50 customers to you this month ago. Babe, you never ask a woman what she uses that money for. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm sorry. But you know what that does? I think it's happening over the restaurant. Once we danced under the moonlight. Now we can't even stand each other's face. Hey, you. Rose is red now, fading. What are you up to? Uh, 
My father would have more reasons to be disappointed in me. Do you want me to take a look? <laughs> Babe, it's business stuff, you won't understand. I have a degree in business administration. Really? Yes. Okay, flex. Flex. You see? He didn't I want to give this. me because. Oh my <laughs> god. Hmm. Oh my god. Okay. I can see what, what you're missing. Look at this place. Is it a bit normal? Here. Yeah. So, we're going to have to. Actually, use actually, that. actually impute this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You're doing it Love the wrong way. You're going to move this way. Love never Look here. Dies. Love so when we are true to each other, love never comes. I just wanted to let you know I am very proud of you. Your presentation today was absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Dad. I don't know where you got that inspiration from. Wherever you got it from, hold strong to it. It's a rare gift. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Great job. Great job. Thank you. Good. Okay, um. Son, I want you to have this. Daddy, this is your favorite one. I know. This one. But you deserve it, son. In fact, you have earned it. See, I always knew you were destined for great things. And you will continue to do great things. Just stay focused, son. Thank you very much, Dad. I won't let you down. I know you will. Thank Absolutely you. sure you were not. <laughs> Babe! Babe! Hmm? Come here. Come here. Oh, what? I blessed today. I met you. The best thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you. Well, why are you so excited? Babe, today, for the first time in forever, yes. my father hugged me. He actually hugged me. Look at this. Babe, this is his favorite watch and he gave it to me. This means everything to me. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me with the proposal. I know I'm happy to you. You're welcome. You deserve everything good in this world. Thank Congratulations. You, so much. <laughs> you know what? Mm -hmm. We have to celebrate. I need you to put on something sexy. What? Never, ne never mind. Wear anything. You look sexy and everything, babe. Thank you. We're going to make a toast tonight. Uh -huh. It's a new beginning. Love is all we need. Okay, catch I love you. Never I love you. Today, we'll, it's going to be a good night. Yes. Okay. <laughs> When the war gets done. She's just eating up the whole thing. Hey. I. Honestly, you don't explain the amount of people that I saw here. Is everything okay? What's going on? You're talking to me? Ah, uh, of course I'm talking to you. Who else oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking to one of you. What is going on? Did I do something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Just say it. What's the problem? What's the problem? Are you serious? I'm being serious. Are you kidding me? The one that was flirting with the second man that was walking through that, are you asking me about it? They are our guests. You invited them. What are you talking about? Wait, why are you being jealous? What? I'm not being jealous. Then why do you have a problem with me talking to other people? Because I can't, okay? I, I, I can't stand them looking at you and talking to you, touching you. Wait, do you, do you have feelings for me? Do you like me? No, I don't. I don't. But you're upset that other people are talking to me and, and looking at me. I, I, I never said that. Okay, I didn't say that. Okay. Fine. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna sit down. I, 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 I can't. You can't what? I can't control it anymore. What can't you control? Oh. I love you. Bridget, okay, I, I said it. I am mad in love with you. 
and I've tried to hide it for so long, but I can't anymore. I can't control it. And you just told me that you didn't have to hate me. I love you too. I, I also said that I love you. Are you yeah. serious? Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I am too. Love you more than love you more. <laughs> are we good now? Yeah, we're good. We used to call it a kiss. Come on, outside, babe. Yeah. I can give you a pick. Guests are here, so we'll be able to kiss. But <laughs> just <a> bit. <laughs> not to get by. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Come on. We were starlights, we were golden. Now broken dreams are left untold. Yeah. <laughs> We were two hearts beating as one Now we pay the price at such a cost Hi guys, I know that you people know that we have three branches Yes, B&M has three branches But we have exciting news for people in Abuja Because we're opening up another branch there Mm-hmm I'm excited too So congratulations Abuja, we're coming to your city Bye guys, mwah <laughs> hey. Okay, I'll be right there. All right. Once we danced under the moonlight, now we can't even stand each other's face. Roses red, now faded gray. Uh, love and war in disarray. Hey. How did we get here? Oh. How did we get here? Love and war in disarray. Love never fails. Babe. Yes. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. You show me what it really means to be in love. And honestly, now I can't imagine a life without you by my side. We have so much in common. We're both very ambitious. Both have fathers who don't believe in us. <laughs> honestly, I just feel like destiny has brought us together to find solace in each other. And now I want to spend the rest of my life showing you how much you mean to me. <laughs> so. Bridget James. Yes. Will you marry me? Love never fails. Love yes, never dies. Love's always there when we are true to each other. Love never goes away. Love conquers all. Love is all we need when the war gets done. Yeah. Oh. Love is all we need when the warring gets tough. Oh. Yo, 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 good evening, guys. Oh, good evening. First Silence. of all, how are you? <coughs> I'm fine, boss. And my apologies for right. running in late. I was held up by the terrible traffic. No. It almost felt like a nightmare. That's right. I didn't get to miss this. Oh, yes, luckily, you're here. Oh. Join us in the delicious meal. Of course. Oh, my Help God. Help yourself. I can't wait. So yes, please do. It looks really good. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it tastes good too. Let's see. Yeah. Max, this place sure lives up to his reputation. Oh, I told you. <coughs> Sorry. Wow. <coughs> Take it easy, boss. I think I'll need to do some, you know, take out. Mm. Mm. So, 
Well, now that you're here, why don't we go straight to the reason for this meeting? Good evening, sirs. I hope that the food is up to your expectation. Is it delicious? Oh, yes, indeed we are. Everything is very delicious, actually. Thank you. Wow. Wait. Do I know you from somewhere? You, you kind of look familiar. Uncle, uncle, let me, let me refresh your memory. You remember that help from last year? I'm referring to the dinner party we attended. Okay. The one that actually almost spilled soup all over everybody. No, no way. That's right. So the one that left the party without even finishing her job? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Where's the manager of this place? Who hired the fraud? Hey, this is my wife, Tim. You can't talk about it. Your what? What? You heard me, sir. Your wife-to-be? Yeah. <laughs> so what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Maso, you mean to say that this waitress this cook is your wife to be. God, don't be ridiculous, Silas. He wouldn't dare bring such an embarrassment to the family. Daddy, I want to have you disrespect the woman I intend to marry, especially not in our restaurant. Um. What? Yes, this is my restaurant, but I will leave you guys to it. Enjoy your meal. Excuse me. You have showed me, Maxwell. You have showed me this project will be a resounding success. Now look at it! Failing even before it starts! Sir, it's still too early to draw conclusions. The project is still in its early stage. Early stages, you say? Early? We're hemorrhaging money, Maxwell! Millions! I knew it was a bad idea to allow the board to approve this your big idea! We expected challenges from this project now. The market is very volatile. What bloody projections, Maxwell? You better pray. You better pray those projections begin to materialize. Because if this project continues to tank, you will be held accountable. I'm sorry, sir. Get out of my office. I'm sorry, sir. This will help with the headache. Thank you. Bridget, I'm sorry. Bridget, please, don't do this now, please. Please, don't do this to me. I already feel terrible about last night. I am sorry. I'm tired. Bridget, I know I ruined your night. It was a big night. Bridget, please. I'm sorry now, please. 
I know I messed up your night. I'm really sorry. Please. Last night was a very big night for me. It was a very, very big night for me. And you made it about yourself. And you made it about yourself. Why are you not happy for me? Why? Why is it about you every time? I don't... Bridget! 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 I know where you're going. Didn't you get the message I sent you on your phone? You sent me something? Yes. Uh. I hired someone to run the restaurant while you were in the hospital. You say what? You walk out that door, Bridge. Excuse me? You heard me. You know what? I've had enough of you, Maxwell. Do you know how disrespectful it is to have somebody to run my restaurant without actually consulting me? Huh? It is highly disrespectful. Look, I, I, I built that restaurant from ground up. Blood, sweat, and tears. Where you were, where? Chasing your failures? Huh? Look, I am not your property or some trophy that you hang on your shelf that you dictate to what to do or what not to do. I am a woman. I am strong, independent, and I will not have you belittle me. So if you don't like me like this, get the hell out of my way. Nonsense. Ah! Bridge? Ah! You can ah! Every single day our love keeps growing strong In your arms I'll stay right where I belong Can I touch your cheeks? Can I hold your hand? You and I were made for each other Love never fades No more Bridget, you need to finish everything. You need your strength. I don't want. I'm done. I'm full. No, you need to finish everything. No, I'm done. What do you mean you're done? What do you mean you're done for crying out loud? You need to eat. You need to take your medicine. You can get back on your feet. The baby is gone. Okay, your baby is gone, Bridget. There's nothing standing in your way anymore. You're ambitious. You can be nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. Bridget, look at this. I got this for our baby. I got this so he could play with it. And I never get to play with it again. And I have failed as a father and a husband. What am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. Okay, we both lost something. Red now faded gray 
Yeah. Uh, love and war in hey. disarray. Okay. So I've been thinking. How did we get uh, here? I know how, how did we get here? Love and war in disarray. Love, in disarray. love never fails. Love never dies. Love's always there when we are true to each other. Love never goes away, love conquers all Love is all we need when the war gets done Yeah, whoa. when the war okay, gets okay, done Love is all we need when the war gets done Oh, hey. So I sold my restaurant and I added my savings. I come here. I wanted you to have it, invest it, and make sure that you know the project becomes a success. Whispers in the dark, the promises we kept. Thank you, <laughs> Oh my god, right? Let me just. Okay. Can I touch your cheeks? Can I hold your hands? You and I were made for each other. Love never fails. Love never dies. Love's always there when we are true to each other. Love never goes away. Love is all we need when the war gets done. Yeah, oh, when the war gets done. So, Mr. Maxwell, who was the inspiration and support for this project? Well, I'm saying my son and my father. I would like to thank my father for all the help he gave me during this project. He helped shape my ideas. They say behind every successful man, there's a woman. Is that the case here? Can you tell us about your wife? Well, no. My wife is a, is a housewife, but I have to be grateful to her. I mean, she cooks, clean, and all that sort. Left untold, yeah. We were two hearts beating as one. Investors were rushing me. They all want to do business. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god, today was such a good day. Babe, you're not saying anything, is you know what I said? It's crazy, right? <laughs> it was so exciting. Honestly, I could have sworn that this day couldn't get any worse. What do you want, Silas? That's good news. I know. Thank God. So hold on. Okay, sir. What's going on? It's my dad. Okay. He's just called for an emergency board meeting. Board meeting? What is it about? Honestly, I am the wrongest person to ask. I have no idea. Uh uh. What is it? He just asked that I 
be at the board meeting too. You? Why? You're asking the wrong woman. Can't change. Yes. A leader knows when to step down, when to pass the button. I thought I could cheat nature a little longer, but my weak heart had other plans. I am retiring effective immediately. And as per the company's bylaws, I have the authority to appoint my successor. This decision hasn't been easy, but I am confident that the person I have chosen is the best individual to lead this company into the future. The new CEO of this company is Bridget Benson. What? What? <laughs> Bridget Benson is my new successor. Bridget, would you accept the position of CEO? Yes, sir. You knew about it, yeah? Huh? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, Bridget. You knew my father was going to make you CEO today. Right? How am I supposed to know that? Can you just focus on work and stop acting like a child that you took candy from? I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm better. And this should be our little secret. Just look at the both of you. How pathetic. So this is the reason you gave away my best right, huh? The hell are you talking about? You took everything away from me. My confidence, my childhood, while other kids were outside there playing. I was with you. Attending board meetings, studying every single course you chose for me. And for what? Because I wanted you to love me. I wanted you to be proud of me. Oh, Maxwell, when are you going to stop acting like a child? A child denied of candy. Honestly? I'm tired of this. You're going to go to your hell for all I bloody care. Stop it. Stop saying Will You shut up. Stop talking to her. Like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> oh, I'm just getting started, you old bastard. Stop it. You know, if you were just sleeping with her, maybe I'd have forgiven you. But I will never forgive you for giving away my birthright. I should be seeing you. Enough. Enough, Maxwell. Enough. You? You think you deserve to be CEO? With your immaturity? Your lack of vision? Bridget right here is a better leader, 10 times a better leader than you will ever be. And just for your information, in case you didn't think that I knew, I am aware that the success of your project is entirely her idea. You told her. I cursed the day I met you. Stop Shut up! Stop speaking to her in that manner. Carry on.
Marshall, are you okay? Bridget. Hmm? What's I need you on? to hold me. What's going on? Are you, are you okay? What's going on? Just, just, just hold me. Okay. This is the, this might be the last time you'd ever get to hold me. What are you talking about? I love you so much. And I'll never stop loving you till the day I die. I've made a decision. I'll bring it into our pain and our suffering. What are you talking about? What's going on? What, what, what's going on? Ah. Are you okay? What's going on? Is it forgiving? Ah! What? Stop. Maxwell! Sorry for stressing you this past few weeks. It's okay, just get better. It's okay, just focus on getting better. Thank you. I know you probably think you probably think I'm a coward for trying to off myself. But you won't understand. I've dreamt of becoming CEO my whole life, just like my father. I followed in his footsteps, studied every single course he chose for me. Mm -hmm. Hoping that one day I would become CEO of Legacy Corporation. So you can imagine how badly I felt when he just wakes up one morning and decides to hand over that position to you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I felt like I've lost my purpose. I just didn't see any reason to live anymore. You once said I was the air that you breathe. Babe. What changed? Babe, you don't get it. I can't work on you. Because it is everything I've ever wanted. Babe, I've dedicated my own life to this dream. This is what I've worked for. I can't, I can't, I can't bear the thought of thinking someone else would take my breath away. Babe. <laughs> If you really need to think about this. Babe, think about this. All right? Do you really want to take my breath right away from me? My dream, something I've worked for my whole life. If this is my ambition, please just think about it. And keep in mind that I can't work on day you, babe. Please. <laughs> You know what this is? What? This is textbook manipulation. Yes, that's exactly what you're doing. You can't work under me. Why can't you just be happy for me? It has to be about you. It has to be about you taking the spotlight. Hmm? Why? Why can't you just be happy? I sold my restaurant. I gave you my savings, poured into you, and what did I get in return? Nothing. And you tell me that you don't want to work under under me? You know, you actually remind me of my father. Men that would die before they see another woman rise to the top. And that's just very sad. And you see that position, whether you like it or not, you can't take it away from me. And nobody else can. Okay? So if that is why you actually try to off yourself, maybe you should try again because that didn't work out. You take a gun, you put it to your head, and you and you shoot. It's done in one minute. Okay? Because all of this that you're doing is not going to work. <laughs> it's work. Bridget, you take this part, you'll be declaring yourself my enemy. We are all his friends. And to be honest, you're not fit to be my enemy. So if you want to attack, don't go behind me. Be a man and do it from the front. Oh. 
Well, let's just see how it goes. Huh? Just hold. Look who finally decided to grace us with her presence today. And why are you on my seat? Oh, I just thought to keep the seat warm for you. <laughs> Where's everyone? What's going on? Oh, Bridget, you're in for quite a surprise. The staff have gone on strike. But they're not coming back till you step down as CEO. Hmm. Strike? Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they're not too excited that you took over the company. Oh. You know that with the hot in operations, the company is losing millions by the hour. The stocks are plummeting by the minute and the board members are starting to panic. You know, um, to add to that, mm -hmm. this strike is going to affect our obligations to maintain supplier demand. Mm. Honestly, at this point, I think you just need to swallow your pride and step down. I'm sure you will love that, wouldn't you? As long as I get my cup of tea, I really don't give a damn. Right. Um, silence, please prepare a um, termination letter for everyone that's on strike. Our legal team will be suing for a breach of contract and financial loss to the company. Yeah. So you're really just going to sue everybody and terminate the employment? Mm -hmm. Nobody is irreplaceable. And I'm sure there are a lot of unemployed people on the streets. You'll be very happy to replace them and everyone is happy. Bridget, hmm? so you're just going to fire everybody to maintain your position. How heartless can you be? No, my love, I just tend to use my heart less. Out you go. Please leave my office, thank you. You're still here? Okay. <clears throat> Hello, wife. What are you doing here? Hmm? Well, I just came to congratulate you. Successfully forcing the staff back to work. You know, I don't buy this your solidarity and your Calmness. It's funny because I know that you actually used to get that strike. I Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had nothing to do with that. You know, you may have successfully forced the staff back to work. But make no mistakes, Bridget. This isn't over yet. I'm just getting started. Okay, so it's the calm before the storm. Look, I will come for you. Hmm? With every trick in my book and I will find you and God help you and trust me you will not survive this are you declaring yourself an enemy you're not even fit to be my enemy get the hell out of my office Bridget <clears throat> as long as my birthright is in question I'll come for you with everything I have mm -hmm. I'll bring the war to your doorstep. Me being CEO is not going anywhere. Okay? This is not going to change. Whether you like it or not. So. Bridget. Oh, no. You call me boss. Now get the hell out of my office. Morning. Uh, what is this? Bread and egg? Breakfast. Oh, stupid, I know it's bread and egg. But you know I don't take sugar anymore. Really? Since when? Since now. Yeah. So what exactly do you want to eat? <clears throat> Swallow. Swallow what? Swallow. <laughs> It's 8 o'clock in the morning, okay. and I have to get to work by, what, 9.30? You want me to be making swallow? Oh, really? Okay, okay. So what, you're saying your work is more important than your husband? That's not what I'm saying. And what are you saying? Be practical. Doesn't mm. make any sense to be making swallow at 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay. I guess I'll just have to hire a maid then. I'm sure she won't have a problem with fulfilling your wife's duties. We both said that we don't want maid. 
and I am a wife. I don't have to cater to all your needs. I'm not your mother. I won't swallow wife. Husband, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and if you don't eat sugar, you're supposed to eat, 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 eat swallow. I won't swallow. Swallow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Whatever it be of my heart, I just want to love you. Maxwell! A whisper is in the dark. Maxwell! The promises we kept. When I look into Maxwell. your eyes, I know that you love me. Every single day, our love keeps growing strong. In your arms, I'll stay right where I belong. Hey, where are you? The food is ready. Hello? Hello? Love never dies. Love's always there when we are true to each other. Okay. Love never goes away. Love can't all. Love is all we need when the warring gets done. Yeah. Oh, when the warring gets done. Foolish. Well, foolish. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it. Don't insult me, Bridget. <sighs> Stop it. This is the office, not the house. Amy, I'm your boss. You don't do that. Now you go in there and, and apologize to the board. You know, Bridget, the longer we keep doing this, the bigger the gap between us gets. Go into the boardroom and apologize. Bridget! Bridget. Bridget. Ah. Are you okay? Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Ah. Come in. Ah. I got you. No, I got you. Easy, easy. Ah. easy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. Just come sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Ah. No, 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 I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I should, should get back to work. Okay. Easy, easy. No, I'm okay. Are you sure you want yeah, to go back yeah. to work? Like eating, you know, you have also. It's your fault. Honestly, I skipped break breakfast because I was trying to make your meal. So now you're blaming me. It's my fault that you had to do your wifely duties, that's it. Come on, you need to eat something. Okay, did you say this wasn't caused by my food? I, I honestly just hope that, regardless of all these fights, this. You know, rival, rivalry between us because of ego and, and ambition. I hope that we still love each other. Okay. Look at me. Honestly, I don't know which is stronger between my ego and my love for you. Look at me. But I know I can't live without you. I love you. Okay, come here. <laughs> really? Now we can't even stand each other's face. Eat something. Oh, I'm trying to eat something. You need to eat something. Please, I cannot restrain my mouth. Alright? Alright, open it. Love and war in disarray. How did we get here? How did we get here? Hey, you. Love and war in disarray. Well, you can say that. What you working on? Just a project idea. Mind if I take a look? Sure. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay. This is really good. Mm. I think the proposal for the board is ready. It's nice. Uh -huh. 
I guess we make a better team than enemies, eh? If you say so. I know so. Oh, is it just me looking at your Oh. Mm. What's wrong? Oh. What's wrong? Bridge? Oh. What's the problem? What's going on? Oh. Bridge? Oh. Babe, what's going on? What's going on? Oh. What's the problem? Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Honestly, I didn't know we, we were... The abortion pills? Was that before or after you decided it was inconvenient for you? I, I didn't take any pills. Don't lie to me, Bridget. The doctor confirmed it. He said you took abortion pills. That, that is not possible. I didn't take any. You know, I knew you were ambitious. But to kill your own child... I would have given up the fight for CEO for our baby. But you just had to eliminate the competition now. Yeah? Mm -mm. I didn't take any pills. Richard, you took my child away from me. My future. And for that, I swear to you, Bridget, you will pay. I didn't take any pills. I will destroy you. I will take everything from you like you took everything from me. Maxwell, I didn't take any pills. I didn't. Yeah, um, I don't want you uh, to pay attention to the media cycles. Focus on your running of the company. I will contact the beginning of the people. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. All right, I'll call <clears> you, Father Ella. I'll call you back. Oh, no, then, Joe. Phone call on my account. It's no secret you're my father's mistress. Your resignation letter? Yes. Why? I can't stay in the same building as my baby's killer. <sighs> Maxwell, I promise you I didn't do what you think I did. You know I may have failed to get the court to send you to jail. But I swear to you, Bridget, you get what is coming to you. I made a promise to you. <sighs> and unlike you, I intend to keep it. This isn't over, Bridget. What does that even mean? You remember when I told you our relationship was hanging on a thin thread? Mm-hmm. Well, that thread doesn't exist to me anymore. Come in. Bridget! Sir? What are you doing here? And why are you still on the CEO seat? Don't tell me that we are the CEO. I, I think there's a mistake somewhere. So you're going to allow your personal differences get in the way of business? Really? Look, if you cannot sit down and have a conversation with me, I know you need this deal. You can go and tell your board how you lost millions of naira because of your ego. Your choice. Please sit.
my God. Look, hold on. I can keep myself. Wait now. See, let me say something. Let me say something. Wait, wait. <laughs> can I touch your cheeks? <laughs> can I let hold me, your feet? You and I were made for wait, each other. Love never fails. Love never dies. Oh love so it's <laughs> Once we danced under the moonlight, now we can't even stand each other's face. Rose is red, now faded. <clears throat> Show your teeth. Stand up, Mr. Man. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. What's your stripper name? My stripper name is Juju Mike. I, George Benson, of sound mind and of good health, hereby bequeath 70% of my entire estate to my first grandchild. Um... 
a proposal I told you to draft? Oh, um, yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, Madam, I, I really want to appreciate you for sending me for the position of head of operations. I am excited and honored to work with you. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Do you mind if I sit yeah, 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 sure. Check. This, uh, maybe I need to show you some. Yeah, you know, need some corrections on the format mm. just to make sure it's still. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Have to be a few adjustments just to. Know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. We did it. Yeah. Congratulations! So that's how to legacy's continued success. Mm -hmm. But I need more of this. Mm. I need more. No, I feel good. I feel empowered, you know, independent. Amazing. Stefa, you know you've been very loyal to me. You've been an amazing, amazing, actually. Miss what? what are you doing? This is all right. Oh, come on. I like you. And if you want me to beg, I can actually beg. <laughs> You don't know what you're doing. You're, you're not in your essence. No, why would you say I'm not in your essence? It's coming here. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Hold on, hold on. Stop. Stop. Let's take a peek. Don't do this, Miss Bobby. Please stop. Don't do this. Stop. Don't, don't do this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's now. Please don't. 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 Okay. Bridget, I'll make you regret what you did to me. Everybody would know you for the manipulative and desperate woman that you are. I would make sure you pay for this. You would pay for this. It's okay, Daddy. Don't blame yourself. You're just doing what you thought was right. It's okay. You have the audacity to show your face here after what you've done. Please, please. Just explain. Explain what? Explain what? You have done enough harm to this family. Okay? I trusted you. I give you everything. And this is how you repay me? Out of my house! I said, get out. You're no longer welcome here and you will never be forgiven. Daddy. Sir? Sir? Daddy, what's going on? Sir, what's going on? If I slap you, would you dare touch him? I've already brought enough pain and shame to this family. Get out. Get out! Yeah. I'm, no, I'm just around here. No, no. What the hell is wrong with you? Huh? Luxor, did I pay you to sleep with my wife? 
You were supposed to seduce her, get the incriminating evidence so we could sue her for sexual harassment. What did you do? Well, I did what I had to do to get the job done. Yes. Drugging Bridget with Aphrodisia was the only way to get the evidences you need. Mm. See, you can hit me all you want. Mm. But the truth is, I have not had pieces I did that to Bridget. I'm not sure I can kill bro. Shut your mouth! What do you think this is? Huh? You think this is about my ego? Huh? It's about her dignity, you damn fool. Why can't you use your head? Well, the truth is, I fell in love with how I doing this. Well, you, you can't blame me. Who don't fall in love with a girl like Bridget? See, you're getting furious because I slept with your wife because you love her. Mm. I will give you an opportunity to redeem yourself. Go and confess to her before I do. Go confess to her. Daddy will always be here for you for now, okay? It's alright. Um, I'm very sorry. I haven't had peace since I did what I did. I'm willing to confess and turn myself in. What is done is done. And I wish you well. All the best. We are going to pursue a legal action against Max and Stefan. There's no need for that. Why not? Don't tell me that you still have a soft spot for him. You still have feeling for Max after everything I have done to you. Honestly, I... it's okay. We should learn to forgive people, okay? And I just feel like everyone just needs a fresh start. Especially now that he see you, I just wish him all the best. There's no need. Well, talking about fresh starts. I've fired my dealers and um, I'm thinking of starting afresh. Oh, nice. Do you have some money in mind? <laughs> well, I'm beginning to know you better, my daughter. I'm getting to know you better. That's cool. I think you should freshen up because dinner is set. Trust me, you're going to love this one. Maxwell, what happened to us? When we had nothing, we were happy. We were satisfied. Why did we let pride and ego separate us?
so everything for this is this really worth it I lost my marriage I lost my wife and you were all alone Why did you call us here, Maxwell? What's on your mind? Daddy. All my life I've been driven by one goal. To be as successful as you. Walk in your footsteps. I, I just wanted to be like you. And becoming CEO of Legacy Corporation seemed like the pinnacle of that success for me. But the truth is, this position has brought me nothing but misery. It has brought me loneliness. It has eroded me of the genuine connection that I once had. Every day I live in fear that somebody is going to betray me. The same way I betrayed my wife to secure this position. Everybody acts like they're happy for me. But I know that deep down in their hearts they envy my seat. And I can't live like that anymore. I need to find my own path. So, Daddy. Yes, sir. I'm officially resigning as CEO of Legacy Corporations. I'm relinquishing my position to Silas. I believe he deserves it, and I want you to give him your full support. I need to start from scratch and build my own legacy from the ground up. So, Silas, mm -hmm. the ship is now yours to captain. I believe you have the knowledge the drive to move legacy corporations forward. I wish you all the best. No, you just can't forgive me that I'm not for everything that I have done. Silas, so I, have... I know the part you played in everything that happened to my wife. And I forgive you. No, you don't know anything. Silas, so I believe everyone deserves forgiveness, even in the face of our darkest mistakes. Maxwell, you have no idea what I have done. You don't even understand. It's fine. All right, I know the part you played in everything that happened to my wife, and I forgive you. I believe everyone deserves forgiveness, even in the face of our darkest mistakes, so it's fine. I promise. All right. You can't just forgive me. Uh, Silas, it's fine, okay? Just like him. I choose to forgive you. Yes, I admit. I admit that I played a part in the path that you took. I always made you look like an, or feel like an outsider. And that was wrong. Well, well Max, you can't. You can't forgive me. You, you all don't understand. This is not how I planned this to end. It, it's also supposed to end this way. You, you, you... It's fine. No. Silas. This is a bitter pill to swallow. You can't just forgive me just like that. I actually came here to kill you. What? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you don't believe me? Why do I have a gun? Silas, Silas, Silas. Why Silas. do I have a gun? Silas, stop. Silas, Silas. Calm, calm down. I came here to kill you, Matt. It doesn't have to end this way. Forgive me. Just, Silas, just calm down. End this way? Silas, I came here to kill you, Matt. I don't... This your forgiveness. Silas, you can't do, you can't do this. Just, just put the gun down. Silas, please, please put the gun down. This is a bitter pill to swallow. Silas, your forgiveness is a dagger that presses my heart. Silas, please, please. Silas, please. I would rather die with the devil. Silas, what are you saying? I'm Silas, Silas, Silas. Silas! 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 
can't even begin to express how deeply sorry I am for everything that I put you through. I know I caused you so much pain and it has haunted me every single day of my life. I am so sorry. I love you with everything. I mean, sure I will spend the rest of my life. So sweet, but towards never part. Whatever every beat of my heart, I just wanna love you. Whispers in the dark, the promises we kept. When I look into your eyes, I know that you love me. Every single day, our love keeps growing strong. In your arms, I'll stay right where I belong. Can I hold your hand? You and I were made for each other. Love never fails. Love never dies. Love's always there when we are true to each other. Love never goes away. Love conquers all. Love is all we need when the warring gets done. Yeah. Oh. When the warring gets stuck oh, oh, oh. Yeah We were starlights, we were golden Now broken dreams are left untold Yeah We were two hearts beating as one Now we pay the price at such a cost once we danced under the moonlight Now we can't even stand each other's face Roses red now faded grey uh, Love and war in disarray How did we get here? How did we get here? Love and war in disarray Love never fails, love never dies Love's always there 